Hi you two, welcome to Tuesday's maths lesson. So please can you start off by writing the date and skill into your book as normal. So the date is Tuesday the 9th of February 2021 and your skill is to use division to calculate fractions of a number. So pause the video and write that in now. Okay, let's recap then. So, the minions ate one third of a bag of bananas each. One minion ate six bananas. So how many bananas were in the bag all together? So pause the video and have a go at answering that question, please. Okay, so if we know that one third is the same as six, that means there must be six groups, no, three groups of six, sorry, because we've got our thirds and in each of those groups, it's the same as six. So we're going to use the inverse, aren't we? We're going to use multiplication to do six multiplied by three or six times three. And um, hopefully you said that six times three is 18. So they had 18 bananas all together. Well done if you got that right. Okay, so today we are going to be learning how to use sharing circles to find fractions of a number. So let's remind ourselves this fraction says one third. What is the top number always called in a fraction? What do we call that top number? So it's the numerator, isn't it? The top number is the numerator. Can you have a go at saying numerator? Well done. Okay, what's the bottom number always called then? The bottom number of a fraction. Can you remember? So it's the denominator, isn't it? That's the tricky one to say. Can you say denominator? Well done if you said that. Good job. Okay, so we're going to start off then by trying to find one third of 15. So if we draw one third, we know it looks like this, don't we? But this time we're going to try and find one third of a number. So to use our sharing circles, we're going to start off by drawing three sharing circles. So we need to draw three because the denominator in our fraction is three. Okay, so whatever the number of the denominator is, sorry, whatever the, yeah, whatever number the denominator of your fraction is, is the number of sharing circles you need to draw. Then you're going to decide how many circles you need to draw um, in each sharing circle, how many dots. So we know that there's 15 in total, so you could use counters or dots or whatever you're going to use at home to put each um, counter evenly, share them in between those three circles. And then finally, we're going to look at our numerator, which in this fraction is the number one, to decide how many sharing circles we need to count up. So we need to decide, right, how many are in one sharing circle. So it would look like this. We've got our three sharing circles, one, two, three, because our three is the denominator. We've shared our 15 counters systematically between our three sharing circles. And then we know because the numerator is one, we're only gonna count up one sharing circle. So in one sharing circle, we've got one, two, three, four, five counters. So we know then that one third of 15 equals five. Okay, let's have a look at another one then. So this time we're looking for two thirds of 15. So again, we need to draw sharing circles. How many sharing circles will we need to draw? three sharing circles because our denominator is three and then we need to share our 15 counters evenly between our three sharing circles but this time we want to count up two sharing circles don't we because our numerator is two on our fraction so we need to count up two of the circles so why is it so important that we look at the numerator when we're answering this question what's different about this one than it was on the last one pause the video and see if you can answer that question Okay, so because the numerator is a different number this time, because it's two, it's telling us to count up two sharing circles. But if we hadn't looked at the numerator and we just counted up one, we'd only find one third, wouldn't we? So it wouldn't be right. So then your sharing circles would look like this. We've still got our three sharing circles because we're still splitting our counters into thirds. We've shared our counters equally, our 15 counters into those three sharing circles. But this time we're gonna count up two of the circles because our numerator is two. So are you ready? Make sure you count with me. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten counters now. So we know that two thirds of fifteen equals ten. Well done if you got that. Okay, guided practice time. So we're going to have a go at doing this question step by step together. So first of all, I'd like you to write one third of eighteen equals into your book. So pause the video and write that in now. Okay, so what is the next thing we're going to need to do? So we need to draw our sharing circles, don't we? In the fraction, one third, the denominator is three, so we need to draw three sharing circles. So can you pause the video and draw your sharing circles now, please? Okay, and then we need to share our 18 counters um, or dots into these circles. So can you pause the video and have a go at sharing your counters into those circles, please? Well done. And finally, we need to count up one sharing circle, don't we? Because the fraction is, uh, the numerator, sorry, is one in this fraction. So once you've shared out your um, counters, we count up one sharing circle. So the answer is, the answer is six. Well done. If you got that, you can give yourself a big tick. Good job. Okay, on to your it oh, independent practice then. Help if I could say it, wouldn't it? Um, so uh, your questions will be on the next slide, but before you start, let's just read through our six steps to success. <laughs> My words aren't working today. Um, which um, just reminds you how to set it out into your books. And um, you can always come back to this if you need a little reminder. So as we just did with our guided practice, you're gonna write out the question into your book. Then look at the bottom number of the fraction, which is called the denominator, well done, and draw your sharing circles. So um, whatever number the denominator is, that's how many sharing circles you will draw. Then you're going to share out the whole equally between the sharing circles. So you can do your dots or you can use counters, um, whatever works for you at home. And you're going to look at the top number, which is called the, the numerator. Well done if you read it or if you just remembered that. Um, and that is how many circles you will need to count up for your answer. Then you're going to count that them up um, and record it as your answer. Okay, just like we did with our guided practice. Okay, so... You can draw the sharing circles and dots or use um, any resources that you've got that are similar at home if you need help with um, these questions. Make sure you do draw your sharing circles though. You can either draw the dots or use the counters, whatever, whatever is easiest for you. So you can pause the video. Remember to just use one challenge. Um, cool, mild, spicy or hot. We do not expect you to do all four of these challenges. Um, and once you have done that, we'll move on to our challenge and then our final thought. So pause the video and have a go at that now. Okay, so well done. Challenge time then. So Mike has used the sorting hoops to find one third of different numbers. Can you find and correct his mistakes and then complete the statements verbally? Okay, so you don't need to copy it into your book. You can just read through this, these two questions and see um, if you can spot his mistakes and then correct them for me. Pause the video, off you go. Okay, so the first mistake was that he put all 12 counters into one group instead, of, instead honestly, my words today, um, instead of sharing them between the three groups, didn't he? So he's put all 12 counters in there. And the second mistake was that Mike only shared three counters um, instead of the full 30 counters into his group, so, um, into his circle. So he just put one, two, three counters in and then he left it there. He didn't share them all out. Well done if you spotted that, good job. Okay, final thought for today then. Sully makes 18 waffles. He wants to share them equally between three friends. He says, each friend will get four waffles because four uh, is one third of 18. Is Sully correct? And can you please explain your answer? Okay, off you go. Okay, so there are those last three waffles. Um, so it says Mike is wrong, but we of course mean that Sully is wrong because one third of 18 is six. Well done if you got that. 
good job. Okay, that's me done for this lesson. Take care and I will see you later. Bye.